Well, let's take a look at the outside of Camp Liberty and we'll start here at the tongue. Uh, first of all, the frame that this camp is built on is very heavy duty and well reinforced. It tracks really well and it tows super easy. Things that I've added, I'm a big fan of Fastway and um, one thing I don't like is having that long piece of aircraft cable that you have to unscrew a link on your hitch and hook that in. This is so much more convenient just to be able to clip just like that. So I added the Fastway coiled breakaway cable. That's been very helpful. The other thing that we did is add the uh, Fastway equalizing torsion bar weight distribution hit. We had that on Camp 216. I can't imagine having anything that's heavy that does not have a weight distribution hit. Makes towing super easy and much more safe. The other thing that we added is this um, electric tongue jack. On 216, we had a hand crank jack. I was totally fine with that, but um, these camps are heavy and this jack is lifting a lot of weight. And despite having a heavy duty um, hand crank, I ended up spinning the um, bearing and the handle came off in my hand while we were still hooked up to the truck. The uh, manufacturer was super nice, very helpful, immediately available on the phone. We took it into a local RV shop. They took off the hand crank and Beth and I paid a little extra and had electric jack added to 216. That made a world of difference. When we spec'd out Camp Liberty, we wanted a heavy duty electric tongue jack for that very same reason and it works out really well. The other thing that I do on all my trailers is I add a little uh, cap to keep dirt and moisture out of the uh, seven prong plug when it's not hooked up to the uh, truck. I think that's a, a useful accessory. Now over here, one thing that I'm, I, I like things heavy duty and um, you don't get any heavier duty than the entry step to a uh, peak mountain camps uh, sheep camp and this just swings up out of the way it sits on the tongue when you're towing they purposely have designed this now so that when you have your torsion bar in place and you're hooked up to your vehicle this clears that torsion bar so you can get in and out of your camp when you're hooked up to your vehicle no problem at all i also like this grate uh, there's a nice uh, surface here that um, you enter and exit the camp. It also drains any moisture. It always stays clean. If you're going to get one of these camps, you want to talk with the manufacturer about something that they're in the process of developing. And that is a way to remove this back angle iron so you can flip it back and then slide one of these sections of perf grate out and take advantage of this big space right here. They're talking about adding an expanded metal box and this would be a great place to store all of your stabilizing blocks. All of your towing equipment can be stored under here and it's a big space waiting to be used. So if you order a camp, you want to talk to them about that. Well, as Beth mentioned, it's not a camp. Remember, not a camp without a wood burning stove, a Humphrey gas lamp, horseshoes, and of course the iconic um, Dutch door. And these horseshoes just come in handy. You wouldn't imagine how often. Um, if you're at a camp somewhere and you go swimming in the river, this is a great place to hang your uh, towel to dry. It's a great place to hang a camera bag or all sorts of things. And I really like how they've taken the horseshoe theme and have built a very nice sturdy handrail to help uh, give you a little bit extra security when you're walking up that um, stairway. So the other thing, um, this is classic on a sheep camp, I should say, I guess there's five things. You have to have a broom hook. When we got camp 216 and she was delivered to us, she had this same hook here and she had a brand new straw broom hanging right here and it the handle goes down through this little hole here that is classic and pretty much um, on every sheep camp you'll ever see there's a broom hanging out front so the sheep herders would clean out their camp um, either at night or in the morning before they head out and do their work and beth and i really love that and that was a very endearing feature of 216 and um, we wanted that on Camp Liberty. You can of course get these camps now without this, but I cannot imagine having a camp 
without the broom hook, horseshoes, wood stove, Humphrey gas lamp, and of course the Dutch door. And I'm told by the manufacturer that somebody actually built a camp with no wood stove in it. What the heck? I can't imagine that. Well, as Beth mentioned, um, we like the uh, Dutch door and it's very helpful to have that Dutch door. One thing you'll see here, this is the exterior light. It's nice to, typically we'll leave that on if we're gonna go do something and when we come back and it's dark, we're greeted at the front here by an illuminated entry and that switch is inside the camp. Very easy to turn on. Now I'm gonna show you our weather station. This is where we have the weather station mounted on the top hoop of the camp. And of course we don't go down the freeway with the uh, weather station on. And I didn't wanna drill holes in the camp, so I came up with a magnetic mount. And when we get on the road, I just take this weather station off and uh, it's mounted on a angle of uh, aluminum. There's three rare earth magnets. And then I came up with a little mount that fits this lacrosse uh, weather station with no problem. All I did was take the head to Home Depot, walk up and down the uh, plumbing and electrical aisles. I'm sure you guys have all done this. And I tested all these little pieces until I came up with that little mount. It's basically a little copper fitting and we just mount it like that. And this weather station, if you're interested, is a LaCrosse TX141WV2. And when we're traveling down the road, this gets stowed under the sink and then the weather station goes in one of the cup holders and that protects the uh, top part. And this goes on very easy. First thing we do after we get unhooked is I'll get out here and I'll just mount the weather station and it syncs wirelessly with the uh, unit inside and gives us great information. The other thing you'll see up there is we have running lights on the camp. Um, we didn't have that on 216. They're standard uh, front and back running lights and they're actually required uh, by law. All right, I think I've done everything out front. Let's uh, Let's go around the side of the camp.